Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? All right, let's continue working on the John boat. In the last video, I got interrupted. <laughs> there is how my hand is looking now. But uh, yeah, it's a little sore. Other than that, it's good. I mean, I can't like put pressure on it or anything. It hurts if I do that, but it's just going good. So we're going to continue working on these up and down supports. We got that side finished in the last video. And now we just gotta make five more for this side. So let's see where we're at here. I think I need to, so I need to bend. In the video where I hurt my hand, everyone was saying I should have a work desk. And I agreed to a point, but most of the work is like done over the boat in place. So I mean, the boat is kind of the workplace, you know what I'm saying? But I do agree with everyone. It will be smart to drill over a table or over wood. See, like, grabbing that hurts. So gotta be careful of that. Ugh. Also, in the last video, I sold my bass boat. So the John boat is now the only boat I have. So I'm gonna try and kick it in the gear and get this thing done. But uh, we still have a long, long way to go. So will I get it done before fall? Mm, there's no telling, honestly. Probably not, but I'm gonna try to do something. I need the boat. Dang it. I need to go fishing. I mean, we can always go dock fishing, but uh, you know. So that rod locker will have the rods, and then this big door here will be the electrical batteries and kill switches control panels and fuse blocks and who knows what but yeah i really don't think we'll need all this room for it i may be able to like divide it up or something electrical and have i guess more storage here or something i don't know we'll see also if i divide it up that will put more support here and here and that's more support for this lid so it'll all work out we got more tubing here to make the next one that will go about here. There's the first one. All right, so there are all five supports made for this side. It is all done. I'm so happy it's done. We can move on from the upper supports for the rod lockers. I hope you guys are happy. <laughs> I'm happy. It feels so much stronger. No more flex. Whenever I move this, the entire boat moves. So it feels 10 times stronger. It should be good. And once I make this lid here, I'll probably be adding some more supports here as well to that. Just to make it all strong. This lid though, I can't really add any support at all. It does feel stronger though than that. <laughs> so uh, we'll add that back piece, get that all hinged together, and hopefully that does a good job to... <gasps> oh! I can get the square tubing. So for this lid, since there's no way to add support here or anything or under it, I'm going to be adding the square tubing, and then I can add the flat bar to the square tubing. The flat bar will go down, so that will make this all super strong as well. So. That is perfect, but I'm so stoked with this being done. And now we can move on. I'm so happy to move on, gladly. Let's throw this back on. Oh, I need a vacuum too. It's so bad right now. After all that drilling. 
God, it came out so freaking good. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and attach this lid. All right, so I started to get this piece riveted on. We got about five rivets in this piece. It's square, it's all solid. I need to continue running rivets all the way around, but I totally forgot to weigh this piece. So I went ahead and weighed that piece. That piece is like a little bit bigger and that piece weighed 7.6 pounds. So I went ahead and called this 7.5 pounds and then I weighed this one and this piece of metal right here is three pounds. So we got all the weight of the metal added. We got a few rivets in. We just need to keep going. I'm gonna add one probably every five inches. Once I get that hat channel in, oh dang. Hopefully the hat channel is enough to support all this. This is a pretty big lid. Six foot, that is a huge rod locker lid. I would, don't recommend going that big, but I went for that symmetrical look. So I'm gonna have to make it pretty strong, but make sure it's pretty strong. So we'll go every five inches, which is a lot of rivets, but it'll be strong. Right, there is all the rivets done dude holy crap looks freaking sweet all right so it is the next day last night I went ahead and got this piece of metal attached to the lid so now that lid is almost done we got it all attached. We still need to add the hat channel. So let's go ahead and jump over to this side. And now we need to attach this piece of metal here. Same way, just rivets every five inches all the way around. Let's get started. All right, so I just drilled through all the holes and I went ahead and took off the metal plate because some of these holes, I drilled through the rivets that were under it. I couldn't see them. I knew they were in this area, but I also want to get this corners secured down. So I just had to chance it. And I noticed uh, on the first one, when you do that, it might push the rivet up, causing a gap under the metal. So the metal will not sit flush. So that's why I took the metal off just to make sure there's nothing sticking up on any of these holes. So the metal sits all flush. Also just to get the metal shavings out of here. So there's a lot of metal shavings all through here as well. So all of that is gonna keep your metal from sitting flush on the frame. So you wanna get rid of all that. It also doesn't hurt to go through the back side of the metal and check all the holes because when you punch through metal, They'll sometimes leave sharp edges and jagged edges. So just check all the holes and make sure you're good before you rivet it all down. Like this hole, this hole is horrible. I could clean that up. But, so first I attached it with just three rivets. I attached it, one over here, two over there, got it all square. Then I went through with all the holes and then just drilled out those three rivets. Took them out and then checked it. Doesn't hurt to do. Just three rivets to drill out, not very hard at all.
right, second lid is attached. Looks so freaking good, man. There it is. I'm probably gonna regret attaching these already just because I still need to add the lights into these compartments. I'm gonna be adding three in here and getting over this is gonna be a pain in the butt. But it's actually not as bad as I thought. I can still reach in. I can touch the bottom. So I can easily grab poles from outside the boat or put poles in outside the boat. So it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. That is good. But that side, I still have to do a lot of work on this side. So it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get around the door, but I'll make it work. We still uh, reach in. I need to foam that wall, foam this wall, and then of course just do all the electrical, but the electrical might be over here. So I need to remember that before I build this lid and put the metal on. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll work around it. It won't be too bad, hopefully. Now we just need to attach this one. Last one for today at least. Oh, there's blood. Let's get that off. I put blood, sweat, and tears into this boat. Dang it. <laughs> all right, let's get this all squared. I'm gonna put a battery on this box just to weigh it down so it doesn't move. All right, that shouldn't move. Make sure it's in place one more time. All right, I got it all square. Let's go ahead and drill it in place. There she is, all done. <whistles> Looking pretty, man. Looking pretty. All right, now I just need to vacuum out the boat. Pick up all this mess. Man, this garage right now is a freaking horrible mess with metal shavings everywhere. That last step right there made so much freaking metal shavings. Look at this. All these little cut pieces from the freaking up and down supports, man. It's time to clean the garage. All right, so I just got that all vacuumed up. It is clean again. Bam. So we got this lid, that lid, and that lid completely done with the rivets. The metal top sheet is done. I still need to add the hat channel going across all three of these lids just to make them stronger. I need to do it to that lid too. I might do it to all these lids just to be safe. If I have enough hat channel, I'll do it. That is all done. I'm gonna do a few other things today as well, but I'm not gonna film it. But when I made this lid, so I put a shim in here to make it all correct over on this side to make it all flush. But now that I'm gonna be adding the deck to this and I'm gonna be adding a piece of aluminum here, I won't need this to be flush. It can sit anywhere and it won't matter. So I'm gonna be taking out this shim and that way that this gap is gone. I don't like this gap. It's probably hard to see on the GoPro wide angle, but there's a gap in here in the metal and I don't like that. So I'm gonna be taking that out. I just have to remove the eight rivets, take that shimmy out and then rivet those in again. And that will be fixed. And then I also have a few things I wanna do with the boxes. So there's a few spots where the gap in these pieces here, like right there, there's a gap right there. So I want to get all that siliconed and closed off. So I'm gonna go through all of these and close all those off. And then, man, I went to the store the other day to find some countersink rivets that were 1 8th and I couldn't find any. So I may need to order some off Amazon if I can. And then uh, I also need to take all this off, silicone all that. I also wanna add another bead of silicone around all the edges. This has had a few days to dry. Yep, it's all dry, looking good. Gotta make sure no water or dust gets behind any of this foam or else it's gonna fail. So, gonna add another layer to that as well. 
Like I said, I'm not going to film it just because you see me do it all before and it's not like that important. It's just small stuff. So that will all be done. Let's go ahead and open all the lids just for a cool shot. I'm also going to be adding struts to all these lids. It's every single one. So we'll be doing that in the future as well. These over here will probably have one on each end just to make it all strong and supported. But man, look how freaking awesome this looks. Oh baby, that looks sick. So hat channel, the latches, and then struts. And then all the lids will be done. Besides the one I still need to make, but... I'm probably going to add hat channel to these two, just to be safe. We'll see how much it weighs. Speaking of weight, I want to add up all the weight so far real quick. And just see where we're at. This is a lot of metal added to the boat, so... Alright, so with everything that was added into the boat, we got 144 pounds so far. Minus the 20 pounds I took out for the benches, so 120-ish pounds so far. Yeah, guys, it's looking good, man. We're slowly getting there, but this looks sick. This almost looks like we have a deck. Once we get these pieces in, this whole center area is going to be done. It's going to have a whole deck. It's going to look pretty sick. It looks sick now, but man, I am stoked with how all this is coming out. I hope you guys are enjoying this series, but don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.